we are going to study about the definitions of state state variables state space and state vector this is the basic terminology of the state space analysis so let us first define the state space analysis state uh, in this state space analysis this is the modern approach of the analysis and design of control systems so we uh, represent the system by this state space so the representation of a system in state space analysis is known as the state space representation okay so a control system will be represented in the state space representation it is a mathematical model of a physical system So what we do in a state space analysis or state space representation, if we say that it is the state space representation of a system, it means that it is the mathematical model of a physical system, which consists of a set of input, output and state variables. And these variables are related by first order differential equations. So this is the basic idea or the basic method behind the state space representation. Now here we have the word state variables and state input we know it is the signal which is given to the system or the incoming signal output is the outcoming signal so what is this state and this state variables terms so let us study the basic terminology or the basic terms used in the state space technique The first term is state. What is a state? So a state is defined as the state of a dynamical system is a minimal set of variables and the knowledge of these variables at t equals to t naught together with the input for t greater than equals to t naught completely determines the behavior of the system for any time t. So we have time, the present time, then we have an earlier time t naught the initial time and we have a final time tf okay now state is what it is a minimal set of variables it is a set of variables and it is the knowledge of these variables that we know the value of these variables at 
t equals to t naught together we know the value of the input for t greater than equals to t naught that is for time t naught to tf we know the value of the input and we know the initial value of the state variables of these variables so these two values the value of the input and the value of the state variables at the initial time they completely determines the behavior of the system for any time t so together they are uh, defining the complete behavior or how the system is going to behave for further time t or for any time t we can define so this is known as the state of the system okay now what is state if we write in a simple uh, definition or we can say simply if we define a compact and concise representation of the previous history of the system okay what is the history of the system if we come in a compact or in a concise way if we are representing the history of the system then that is known as the state of the system previous history can be termed as the state of the system so whenever we mean state or whenever we are using this term state this is the definition for this that the state of a dynamical system it is a minimal set of variables minimum set of variables which are uh, very much essential for defining the behavior of the system so we will use only those variables and the knowledge of these variables at t equals to t naught together with the input for t greater than equals to t naught that defines the state of the system now second term is state variables which variables will be known as the state variables So the state variables of a dynamic system are the minimal set of variables which determine the dynamics or the behavior of a system. Now if we take that what in state uh, space representation how we are going to represent the state variables. So if we represent the state variables in the state space technique then they are represented by x1t, x2t, till xt x3t till xn t now we are stating in the definition of the state that the information of these variables at t equals to t naught so at t naught or the initial state its value will be x1 t naught x2 t naught x3 t naught till xn t naught so this is the initial state of the system. Now once the initial state is known and the knowledge of the inputs for t greater into the t naught is known then the set of these variables that is the inputs and the state variables they will collectively define the state of the system now if we take the example of a electrical network here we have r and it is an inductor this is our input voltage Now if we take the current across this inductor then this current across the conductor can be taken as a state variable. So it will be made equal to x1, x1 is the state variable and this is how we choose or how we define the state variables in a system. Okay. 
Now, third term is state vector. So the next term is a state vector. So state vector is defined as the n set of state variables which are used for describing the dynamic equations of a linear system can be considered the n components of a state vector. We know that a vector is represented in the matrix algebra. We have a vector. It is a, a com component. It is having n components in it. So if these n components of the state vector are the state variables of this vector, we have a vector which is having n components. n number of variables are there and these n variables are if the state variables of the system then it is known as the state vector. Okay. How we can represent this state vector? We have the state variables as x1 t, x2 t till xn t. So state vector will be having each term as these state variables. So state variables were x1 t, x2 t, x3 t till xn t. So there are n state variables. Now if they are represented in vector form, so xt is the state vector and its components are x1 t, x2 till xn. So these n components, if they are collectively written as the components of a vector, then that vector is known as the state vector. Okay. Here x1, x2, these are the state variables. Okay. Now our next term is state space. So state space is the n-dimensional space and in this n-dimensional space its coordinate axes are the x1 axis, x2 axis and xn axis. x1, x2 till xn they are the state variables. Now for each state variable we have an axis and when we combine all these axes then we will get the complete n-dimensional space and this complete n-dimensional space is known as the state space. Now in this space any state can be represented by a point. Okay, so any uh, state it can be represented by a point. If we take here, we have three variables, so it will be a three dimensional space. Here we have x1, this is x3, this is x2. So any point, any state. It will be represented by a point and it will have x1, x2 and x3 all the state variables and this point A it is the state of the system at any time T. 
okay so these are the basic terminologies which are used in the state space technique first was the state then state variables then state vector and in the last we studied the state space so i hope these definitions are clear to you thank you